Hello guys, my name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie and today I'm gonna be answering um, frequently asked questions about After Effects and most of them is about After Effects CS5 and CS5.5 It's actually only three frequently asked questions but it's frequently asked um, to me <laughs> So I'm gonna be answering those questions So let's just fire up After Effects, I already fired up in here And the first frequently asked question is actually this So um this is the very first uh i'm gonna answer um this is the very this is one of frequently asked questions you guys asked so when you move the current time indicator in after effects cs5 or cs5.5 the video preview which is here is one following as you scroll this current time indicator and it's only gonna go to the frame when you um release the current time indicator let's say you move it and you release it if you the preview gonna um, uh, just go to that frame when you release it the uh, the current time indicator but it won't follow you when you scroll this current time indicator so how to make it f uh, the video preview is previewing uh, while you um, scroll this current time indicator all you're gonna do is click this live update so you click that and there you go when it when you scroll the current time indicator the video preview will follow your current time indicator will preview the video all right so that's the first thing that you always ask me in my personal message the second thing is about um presets so you won't get any problem in after effects cs4 because the def default is already on but in cs5 or cs5.5 the default is turned off so all you have to do is click that and then about the uh, the, the the second frequent last question is about um, preset so when you let's say make some effects from let's say trap code particular and as you can see here mine already got this animation presets now maybe in the default settings of your after effects cs5 you won't see this presets right so all you're gonna do is go to something like a small triangle here just click that and click show animation presets before that maybe you you your um, after effects you will look like this you know no animation presets but when you click this and show animation presets it will show up there you go all right that was the second frequent last questions now the most frequently asked question in my personal message or in my video is actually <laughs> it's kind of funny uh, how you render out uh, as video all of the effects you already create in After Effects so uh, <laughs> basically guys you already know how to do some effects like anything but you uh, lots of you uh, asked me how to render it out as video so you don't know how to render it all of the effects in After Effects as a video file so um, nothing on because After Effects is not so clear you know uh, some of the program just you know file and render or file export and After Effects got the export but it's not about video file here um, so all you're gonna do is click here in composition and go to composition and add to render queue or you already this is the shortcut you can press it or I'm just gonna press ctrl M make movie it will be the same for me but uh, in After Effects forum it, it says that add to render queue is better when you render a video so I'm just gonna follow them so just uh, remember click the composition here again and, and then go to composition composition and add to the render queue just click that and there you go this is the settings for you to render out your video and uh, output model is lossless here it's mean um, uncompressed so the file is gonna be very big and as AVI file and it's gonna be very big uh, but for the quality is is the best quality um, ever was but um, my favorite is you're gonna get just click this and change from AVI which is the uncompressed one to the H264 this is my uh, favorite is gonna be rendered out as MP4 yes MP4 <laughs> that's right and then um, the, the the files gonna be small small a lot smaller it's like a lot smaller and uh, um, but the quality is still good so you go to format option over here and uh, for me, I'm just gonna change it to 12 and 12, so it's gonna still maintain the, the quality of the video. And then click OK. And then if you want to out, if you want to also render out the audio, some of you guys even asked me. I already render it out as video, but 
the video, uh, the audio from the video is missing. Maybe because you you haven't clicked this, the audio output. Make sure you click this, and then OK. And then output two, you just click this, and this is actually uh, wherever you wanna um, uh, render your video out. Uh, so just for me here is local this D and etc. And you're gonna name your video. Let's say this render. I already done this, and then save it, and the next thing you want to do is just go click render so that's it guys I already answer all of your uh, frequently asked questions in my personal message and all my videos and I hope it's gonna be useful for you guys so uh, my name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie make sure you subscribe to me if you want <laughs> and if you want to add, add me as friend yeah, well up to you so um, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos and tutorial Thank you so much.